Hi, good afternoon. This is Robert Marr from the Law Office of Robert J. Marr, PC. People probably don't apply for this type of visa as much as many of the other visas, but the name of it is the O visa. And basically, individuals with extraordinary ability, two different types of O's. O1A visa is for those who have uh, extraordinary ability in the sciences, education, business, or athletics. And these do not include the arts, motion pictures, or television industry. So the sciences, education, business, and athletics. The second is for people who have extraordinary achievement in the motion picture or television industry, right? So those are the two primary types of O visas. The O visa is good for one year and it's renewable. In order to receive or obtain the O visa, an employer or a sponsor has to file on your behalf. They file form I-129, which is the form that they use to petition for you through presenting evidence of awards, opinions from people in their respective industries. Like in the example of a person who's involved in television or film industry, perhaps it's an award that a person won, accolades, uh, newspaper articles, all these different types of forms of evidence that show that a person is has an extraordinary ability in that area and you know has international acclaim. They're not just famous locally, but they have international acclaim. Uh, for instance, I know of a singer who was popular in her country several years back, but was unable to get a visa, Would, wouldn't have been eligible for an O-1 visa because he didn't have international claim. Now, fast forward several years and her reach has gotten much greater. So she's become eligible for that uh, visa through a, a through a petitioner. Been granted an O visa, they have to continue their work in their respective field in the United States temporarily. That's the, the idea is that the person wants to come here to further his or her work in the arts and television industry and science or education or whatever area it might be. So the work has to continue for the petitioner. The person has to do it temporarily while they're here. There are many different ways to, to get to this point. Talking to an experienced immigration attorney about the O-1 visa is a good place to start. If you have any questions, you can call me at 212-939-7548 or uh, email at rmaher at robertmarlaw.com. Thanks very much and have a good day.